Hello and welcome to this first opinion veterinary ultrasound case. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. This was a 13 year old female entire cocker spaniel who had a history of a tubular carcinoma removed surgically earlier in the year. Recently was suffering from increased urinary frequency being treated with claviceptin and dexamethasone. Bloods revealed no abnormalities. So here we've got our bladder um, and we can see these small pockets of free fluid um, surrounding the bladder. The bladder wall looks a bit thickened but I felt that that was because the bladder was um, not very full. Again here we've got small pockets of, of free fluid um, around the um, intestinal tract moving back towards the, the bladder where there are these small pockets of free fluid. Again, our bladder and these pockets of free fluid surrounding it. But these pockets of free fluid were not only surrounding the bladder, there were pockets within the, the whole abdomen. Again, now we can see the bladder a bit more clearly, it's a bit more full. We get these, these little pockets and they're sort of triangular. When we've got free fluid, um, they tend to um, find gaps and become pointy whereas when they're in the lumen they're rounded so <clears throat> lots of small pockets of free fluid we want to be sure that these aren't uh, vessels that we're, we're cutting over um, so looking for flow is a good idea here's a still image of this bladder urinary bladder with a small triangular shape anechoic free fluid pocket cranial to it. And then applying um, Doppler is a really good idea um, so that we're not mistaking a vessel for free fluid but we can see here there's no flow in this anechoic area here. So we found all small pockets of free fluid with echogenic material in some of the areas seen in the caudal abdomen, just cranial to the bladder in these images. This was not associated with any obvious pathology, although we did see the medial iliac lymph nodes were slightly rounded and hypoechoic and slightly larger than expected, but not actually measuring large. And these drain the hind limbs and the pelvic organs. We attempted to take a sample of the small pocket of free fluid, but it was so small that that sampling was unsuccessful.